Imagine being able to see through walls, through fog, through the dark, through clothing. Okay, not in that kind of way. You pervert. So the Seek thermal camera isn't some pair of magical x-ray specs you find for sale in the back of a comic book. No, the Seek thermal camera is made of actual sciences and is a thermal camera that attaches to your smartphone. This version uses a fixed micro USB connector, so you'll need to figure out which direction it ends up facing on your phone. It works fine on Anthony's Galaxy S5, but for some people, it ends up facing yourself, or if your charging port is on the side of the phone, then it kind of messes everything up. When you look at the micro USB connector, you want the shorter edge facing you for this camera to be facing the right direction. There's also an iPhone version, so you don't have to necessarily figure out which way it plugs in, because that connector is both ways. There are no controls on the camera and it comes in a waterproof case. To use the camera, all you have to do is install the Seek Thermal app and plug it into your phone. Everything in the world emits infrared waves based on their temperature and the Seek sensor is able to pick up those waves and give you a digital image. Right away, there are four modes available. The first is normal mode, which simply shows a heat gradient image that tells you if something is hot or cold. Next, you have a spot temperature mode, which will read the actual surface temperature at that point. Next is high slash low mode, which shows the hottest and coldest surfaces in your picture. Finally, you have a threshold mode that lets you filter out a specific range of temperatures you want to see. One thing to note, the clicking sound you hear from the Seek is normal. As the temperature in front of the camera changes, it calibrates itself using an electromechanical shutter to sample the temperature of the environment. Now all of this is in real time and works via live view. You can record still pictures and video at a resolution of roughly 800 by 600. The thermal image sensor itself has a thermal resolution of 206 by 156, which is actually very large for a camera in this price range. To put things in perspective, this is the FLIR E4 professional thermal camera flashed with its bigger brother, the e 8 software. This thing costs roughly $2,500 and has a thermal resolution of 320 by 240. The standard E4 has a resolution of only 80 by 60. That's all fine and dandy, but what can you actually do with the thermal camera? We thought it'd be a gimmick, and to be honest, it kinda is. But this is not a toy for everyone. It's a special tool that serves a specific purpose. Let's give you some examples. When we first started using it, we pointed it at everything. I mean, our cups of water, the walls, monitors, windows, cars, people. It was fun guessing the surface temperature of things and seeing what objects are heat permeable and what objects are good insulators. Seek even gave us a starter kit with various objects like a foam cup, heat and ice packets, candle and a pipe. You know, so you can determine where the clog is. More on this later. But eventually this novelty wore off pretty quickly and the Seek ended up sitting on our desk after the first few days. After a few more days, we started encountering situations where we actually needed the Seek. For example, the clogged pipe scenario. If you have a clog, simply pour hot water down the pipe and you can see exactly where the clog forms. Instead of looking directly at a hot object, you're now filling the negative space with hot water and looking at the opposite cool space instead. At the studio, we put the thermal camera to use with our computer case reviews. We can easily pinpoint any hot spots inside a computer case and fix it by adjusting or adding more fans. Simple. In combination with our fog machine, we'll be delivering some pretty detailed case reviews in the future, so make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss them. In the end, the Seek isn't exactly a gadget that we couldn't live without. There are some very useful situations where it comes in handy, but nothing that made us jump out and buy one right away. When you compare it with professional grade thermal cameras, you can instantly see the appeal of the $250 Seek. After all, it even lets you record videos. One feature it's missing is the lack of raw data available. With the FLIR E4, it captures everything in a raw format that you can extract later with their FLIR tools software. You can choose between the separate modes or pinpoint different areas after you've already shot your images. With the Seek, what you see is what you get. You shoot an image and you get a JPEG of the exact scene. Another feature we'd like to see in the Seek is the FLIR's multi-spectral dynamic mode, or basically the hybrid mode. There are actually two camera sensors, one for regular images and one for thermal images. The FLIR combines them into one image so you get the sharp details of a regular image with the thermal information from the thermal sensor. 
But then again, the Seek is one-tenth the price of the FLIR while accomplishing 80% of the job. And for one lucky viewer, you'll be able to do it for free. That's right, we're giving away an Android version of the Seek thermal camera. All you have to do is like and comment down below. Any comment will do and we will pick a winner at this date. Alright, that's it for this quick review of the Seek thermal camera. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later.